Hi guys. For those of you that weren't with me this morning for the maths lesson, I just thought we'd do a quick scamper through what a line of symmetry is. Because some of you won't know. So what is a line of symmetry? Is it a line that shape, divides a shape into quarters? Is it a line that drawn through a shape that so both sides look the same? Or is it a line that outlines the edges of a shape? Well, I'm going to tell you, it's a line drawn through a shape so both sides look the same. Yes. So to get symmetry, both sides look exactly the same. I can flip them over, absolutely the same. Now, what type of shapes have lines of symmetry? Bit of a clue behind me. What I've been working with, we're working with 2D shapes. And what is a 2D shape? It is one that's got width and height, but it hasn't got any depth because that would make it a 3D shape. Right, which shape has four lines of symmetry? Again, if you were with me this morning, you're probably going to know this. Is it a square, a rectangle or a parallelogram? Well, save time. I'm going to tell you it's a square. And these are the lines of symmetry. One going this way down diagonally through the square and both sides would be exactly the same. One going straight down, again both sides are exactly the same. You get the other corners, line drawn diagonally between those two corners, both sides the same. Oh, let's see if I can get that in. Here's my square. As you can see, if I go diagonally, I've got two sides that are exactly the same. They are symmetrical. I'm hoping you're getting an idea of what symmetry is. Which shape has two lines of symmetry? Is it a rectangle, a circle or an equilateral triangle? Again, I'm going to tell you because if I haven't, if you haven't seen my, been with my lesson, you probably don't know. It's a rectangle. It's only got two lines of symmetry, one going down and one going across. And again, I can show you on this piece of paper here. As you can see, if I fold it in half that way, it's perfectly in half, both sides exactly the same. If I fold it in half this way, both sides are exactly the same. But if I try to fold it diagonally, what happens? That is not symmetrical. They are not the same on both sides. So, which shape has three lines of symmetry? Now again, I haven't told you anything about an isosceles triangle yet. I haven't told you what a scalene triangle yet is. But I have told you about an equilateral triangle. Three sides exactly the same. And these th equilateral triangles, if I drew a line straight down the middle, that would be a line of symmetry. If I take a line from the corner or that corner, it's an equilateral triangle. And there it shows it beautifully. One line down the middle, one line going that way, one line going that way. Now, which shape has only one line of symmetry? Again, I'm not going to spend too much time because I haven't really explained what an isosceles triangle is and that's the answer. We'll have a quick look. That's an isosceles triangle. You can only make it equal on both sides if you divide it down the middle like that. Which shape has no lines of symmetry? This one's a bit more tricky and you might or might not have got this one because as I say it's a bit trickier. I'm looking for my little bits of paper here that I had earlier. Ah, found it. Right, a circle. Does a circle have a, have a line of symmetry? Yeah, it will do actually. An isosceles triangle, well, we've just seen an isosceles triangle, so we know it's got one line of symmetry. So a parallelogram, that's a parallelogram. As you can see, it's a bit like a squashed rectangle but it does not have any 90 degree angles. It hasn't got any square corners. 
okay can I cut that to make it two sides exactly the same well let's have a little look see if I cut it along the middle there what would happen if I flip that over well, I can tell you oops it doesn't work does it because there's a bit left over here so that one does not have any lines of symmetry which of these statements is false firstly a rectangle has four lines of symmetry an isosceles triangle has one line of symmetry and a square has four lines of symmetry hmm. well I'm pretty sure we've seen that isosceles triangle and it had one line of symmetry. I know we've had a look at the square and that had four lines of symmetry. So the statement that is false is A, a rectangle, because it has only two lines of symmetry. Hopefully it'll show us. There we go. One, two. Which of these statements is true? An equilateral triangle has two lines of symmetry. Uh -uh. A scalene triangle has two lines of symmetry. A rectangle has two lines of symmetry. Well, we've just had a little look at a rectangle with two lines of symmetry. So we know that is correct. Now, Again, I introduce this as, not, as a, a new word for you. Which shape has an infinite number of lines of symmetry? Well, hopefully everybody who was in my lesson this morning is going to be shouting out the answer. And it is a circle. Because as long as I do a line down the middle, it doesn't matter where I start, wherever I draw that line, it's going to be a line of symmetry. So as many lines as I can possibly do. An infinite number of lines, which means it goes on forever. I could do as many as I want. Oh, I don't know. Sorry about that. I just forgot to press the button. <laughs> and that's it. OK, I'm going to put a, um, some bits on up for you, for you to have a go at yourself and just practice your lines of symmetry. Um, hopefully you've got a bit more of an idea now. That's that quick catch up for you that didn't manage to make it to the lesson. Okay, bye.